Well, I, got a, I got a question for you since you're you were a female wrestler slash performer. What's your thoughts on all this uh sexual misconduct stuff going on with Vince McMahon and the higher ups? And you don't have to answer this if you don't want you. Did you ever see that or experience that when you were there? Um, it's so funny <laughs> because um I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm not, not surprised. surprised. I don't think anybody who worked there is, <laughs> to be honest with you. And I used to say this, I'd be like, why doesn't anyone hit on me? What's wrong with me? <laughs> I'm like, you know, life would be a little easier if someone would just hit on me. And he goes, right. no, they know you're too smart. You're just, they're, they don't want to fuck with you. And I was like, right. oh, fuck. You know? But no, I do know for a fact that shit had happened because there were a couple of young ladies. There was one actually that I know for a fact had come to me for advice because something uh, was, she was being approached very hard wow. and it was very uncomfortable. Wow. So I do know for a fact, and she wanted up leaving. She was like, uh, it was like during those diva search, one of those diva search girls. And so, but you know, I, I wasn't surprised. I mean, you hear about it all out. You always hear about it, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, I mean, like I even said to Paul recently. I said, "Paul, come on, come on! Now it's everybody. Why not me?" <laughs> He's like, "Oh, God, stop!" <laughs> but like, I compare it almost to like the Harvey Weinstein situation, where you have a very powerful man who's in charge of your career. You know, I mean, I'm making a joke about it. I'm not, I don't think it was right. I'm making a big goofball about it. Um, I've been in those situations. Right. Like not, I did, wasn't in it in wrestling, but when I was in the entertainment business before it, and when I was an actress, multiple sure. times sure. put into a very scary situation where you don't know if you're getting out. Wow. Okay. I had someone once, I was in San, um, Santa Barbara. And I was like in this guy's house for like two days, three days. I had like, no way of getting like he didn't have me locked down, but I had no way of getting I had I, I had nobody out there. So was this like a director or producer or something? Yeah. This is back when the Titanic was getting produced. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I I, I uh, it was a friend of a friend. Yeah. I was working with a promoter uh, uh, agent out here. He's dead a long time ago. And he said, my friend in Santa Barbara, I'm vouching. I mean, you know, he vouched for him, everything. I was young and stupid, looking with my head up in the clouds. I was young to yeah. my 20s, early 20s. Yeah. And I flew out there to meet with him because I trusted right. my, my agent. Right. Now, meanwhile, I was supposed to be put up in a hotel for the Titanic that was being cast and all that mm. well i get picked up at the airport and he brings me to his house in santa barbara and he kept you like what hostage for two days i was there for yeah i was there for about three days mm -hmm. yeah i mean i didn't do anything with him but he made it very clear that if i did oh wow yeah that's fucked. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. And Damn, you know, I, 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 I know I make jokes. Oh, this it's is not, not a, a nice violence. place to be. Right. It's, it's uh, not no. a nice place. No. So I do what I have experienced it, and it's not a nice place to be. It's the grading, it's the moralizing, it makes you feel like, you know, why do I work so hard when that's all it is? Right? But but I did get away. I, I wanted up. I was friends.